Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. With Special Delivery having done run its course and shut down for good, and with a successful um, re-entry to my mobile content with Special Delivery, what better to do decks than Plants vs. Zombies 2? It's been a minute. This was one that I stopped because my older recording software was being really wonky, but this one has proved really good and beneficial. So let's hop right back into our time-traveling zombie shenanigans, why don't we? With our wonderful, um, botany allies. We're gonna hop back into the adventure, like we usually have been. I seem to remember where we were. Okay, thanks for letting me know that. That's right, we just started the Jurassic Marsh and ended the Neon Mixtape Tour. Which, I don't know if you guys want to go back and watch those videos, because they were kind of a mess, thanks to my old recording software. But we're back here. That's all that matters. Uh, we have the Primal Plants Now, Primal Pea Shooter, and Walnut, our first two unlocked. And apparently there's a bunch more new ones. Before we get into that, though, and we continue any further, if you guys want to see more Plants vs. Zombies content on the channel, and more stuff similar to this on the channel, do let me know down in the comments below. Should absolutely demolish that like button. Absolutely crush it if you enjoyed what you saw today. And yeah, let, let's just go right back into the almanac. Because from what I've gathered, there's a lot of new plants that I'm kind of missed out on. So I feel like I owe it up to you guys. And I'm curious myself to see what we have in here. There's a lot that I still have, am able to unlock, but I can't yet. Um... Two that I haven't purchased yet, Cold Snapdragon and Escape Route. So we are in the Jurassic Marsh. So we got Primal Pea Shooter and Primal Walnut recently. I don't want to take too long in these because these drag out with the type of gameplay it is. Let's get right into it. Um, the last one I locked was Solar Sage. What have we had since then? Power Vine, Nocturne. Heath Seeker, I remember some of these. Iceweed, Tiger Grass, love the little fella. Teleportato Mine, <laughs> Blockily, Buttercup, I think this is the last one I remember as a whole. So let's see what we've got now. Bramble Bush, okay, another one of these. Rhubarbarian, love it. Mega Gatling Pea, oh, they brought the Gatling Pea back in as a normal plant. I see they're bringing back some of the older ones. Like they did, a um, what was it? That one, I think, balloon flower brought in the Doom Shroom as a reference. Levitator. Okay, another potato. As if we need more of those. Tomb Tangler. You are interesting. Vampercini. Funny. Meteor Flower. Oh, wow. Chili Pepper. Another ice one. Funny. Bunchy. Okay. Bzzz button. So we have bees in this game now? Interesting. Boomberry. Sea flora. Sea flora. <laughs> Looks like had itself a bit of fun. Let's just say that. Maybe. More bee plants. Scaredy Shroom is back. Don't know how useful he'll be, but it's cool to see he's back. Bamboo Spartan. Wow. Sundew Tangler, I like that. I wonder if we'll see more carnivorous plants then, because we had Chomper, what's left? Um, a pitcher plant? i like to see that. Bean Sprout, another bean? I don't know what these guys do yet either, I'm just looking through them. Nightcap, he looks cool. Cran Jelly. Oh boy. Butta Boom, I think that's what it says. Yeah, Butta Boom. Ice Shroom! Don't get me wrong. I love Iceberg Lettuce. I'm glad to see Ice Shroom is back, though. That's so cool. Dragon Brute. Oh, Dragon Fruit is in now. And Electric Peel, a banana. Very interesting new plants all here. If I remember, they have a feature where you can test one of them in your normal matches, so we might see some of those. And some others I don't use very often, or haven't been able to unlock yet. Right, I've wasted enough time, let's just hop right into this. Level 5. Um, how many levels do I want to- I guess we'll see. As time goes on. Okay, so here we are. So we need, what, Sunflower... 
Um. Oh, and I do have some plant food ones. Primal Pea Shooter, give me him. Okay, don't... Yeah, there's the Rent-A-Plant down there. It's like I have three this time. Did they limit it? That would kind of suck if they did. Let me grab my Sunflower, my Primal Pea Shooter. What are we dealing with? Dinosaurs? Oh, that's right. Oh, they're only going to get tougher and tougher. Uh, I might want to use some... Uh... Plant food plants, actually. What do I have? Potato mine. Colonel Pult's gonna be a big help. With that in mind. Uh, pepper Pult. Garlic. Wasabi Whip. Witch Hazel. Pea Vine. There's a big season for Pea Vine, so I guess I might as well use them, right? Boost Appeasement Plants. Okay, yeah, I can pair them up with, um... With Primal Sunflower. That works. Luminate Zombies for Sun. Okay, that's Solar Sage. I remember that. And then... You know, yeah, Solar Sage, and then we'll rent a plant. What are you giving us? Escape Root? That's one I have to purchase. I haven't gotten yet. Explode on contact and be swapped with other plants that are in danger. Neat. Primal Potato Mine? We haven't unlocked you yet. That's a spoiler. And Pumpkin! Ooh, do I want to go with Pumpkin or Escape Root? Pumpkin symbol used before. Escape Root's a similar plant. I don't think I've showed off much. Let's give Escape Root a shot. Alright, there we go. We have Escape Root in our arsenal. It gave us Primal Walnut right off the bat as well. Okay. Let's rock. Let's get right back into things. These goofy lawnmowers. No plant food yet. I've got plenty of coins still. Yeah, let's stop talking. Start playing down sunflowers. Primal Walnut charged really fast. I think that's the gimmick with him. Coming. He's about the same as a normal Walnut, but he charges faster, I guess? Okay. Let me start getting some... Yeah, here we go. Um, before I set up any Primal Walnuts, I'm going to set up Primal Pea Shooter. Here we go. Now, if remember, his peas are like rocks. They have a chance to stun zombies. And a rare chance to knock back. I think. Yep, just like that. Very neat plant. Okay, let's get one. Actually, Colonel Pult gets you up in here. Set. Yeah, I've got a certain order I want to do this in, so Primal Pea Shooter there. Set Primal Walnut up here. Oh, I forgot how much I hate the dinosaurs. This is where it starts getting really hard. Okay, uh, Solar Sage. I put Solar Sage here. Yes! Okay, I'd say that was a good idea, investment. Okay, let's put you there. I need to focus, I need to focus. Primal Pea Shoot. Oh boy, they're all coming like nuts. Colonel Polk, can you help me out? Key Vine. Let's help power up my, uh, little guys here. My Primal Pea Shooters. That's looking good. So Solar Sage here, that might be a good deal. Okay, and I do have Escape Root. So I wonder what that'll do. I'm going to try him out. Solar Sage, good work. Set out another Colonel Pole. I'm actually doing really good. Maybe I didn't need Escape Root. Oh, um, Escape Root. Let's see, swap with Colonel Pole there. And he leaves behind a potato mine for to blow up. I like that. That's cool. Neat premise. Okay. Give me another primal pea shooter. Right there. Of course, my kernel pulse are a bit strong. Final wave already. Wow. And there's... Okay, I'll use a plant food on this wolf. He turns into a rock. Ah, that's funny. What happens if I give a skate root one? He just created another version of himself and dropped a grape shot. 
I feel dang. I, I kind of expect it to be harder with the dinosaurs, but now they know we're still kind of on easy mode. Oh well. Sucks we didn't get to see more of Escape Route, but it's a really neat premise. Move on to the next level now. Alright, riding to the next one. Feel the ground to trembling. More dinos? A herd of stegosaurs approaches. Stegosaurs! Oh, I like those dinosaurs, but in my case, I don't think they're going to be helping me. They snare zombies with their tail and then flick them off. Uh-oh. What does that mean for us? What does that mean for me? Um, okay. Sunflower. Got our primal boys of the Jurassic ages here. More plant food plants. Uh, I guess I'll grab Wasabi Whip. Yeah, he hits forward and backwards. Lava Guava's a nice one, too. Fits the theming here. And then two more... Um, who to go? Here we go. The indecisiveness begins again. Who do I run? No, Gold Bloom. Give me a good burst of sun because I'll need to set these guys up a bit. Now let's rent a plant. What do we got this time? Cold Snapdragon. He is from this part of uh, the game, this set of levels. The sunflower, the spoiler, and the nocturine. Shadow plants are great. Explode and create clouds of damaging and slowing gas. I think I'll go with the cold snapdragon. It's another one that you have to buy. I haven't bought it yet. It fits the theming. So, uh, let's do that. Cold snapdragon. Alright, cold snapdragon acquired. For a rent this round. Let's rock it. Okay, so I need mass sunflowers. I do also have gold bloom. It's gonna be my base sunflowers before I go sun crazy. Of course, wasabi will activate with power. Same with lava guava. Okay. First. Good. That's it. You here? Start sending up some walnuts as well. Okay, set it right. I'm gonna set these closer, actually. With the plants I've got. Oh, wait, that's right. Cold Snapdragon. Okay, uh, let's get that guy set up then. Oh, oh, um. That's not ideal. Uh oh. Uh, Lava Guava? Right, he creates a fissure. I forgot. I thought I did something different. Okay, well, I'm not going to be perfect on my first time back. Okay. I set these walnuts fast. Gold Bloom's almost ready. That's a good sign. Stop kicking them over. Okay, Gold Bloom, go. Gold Snapdragon's doing pretty good. Get another one down. Yep, that guy erupted. Walnut, okay. I'm good to go. Oh. Wasabi whip! I just realized it's kind of gonna uh, contradict my cold snapdragons, but it's fine. It could be worse. Let's use, um, Primal Pea Shooter's power-up, why don't we? Especially on the one up top, because that guy's a tough one to kill. Full knockback. I like that. Hold Snapdragon. Set a Lava Guava right here. Create that fissure, and then when they get close, he'll erupt. One more gold bloom for the match. Perfect, I can get my last wasabi whip. Spicy. Okay, I just need to let them do their thing. Okay, 
Let, yeah, let's set a lava guava down here. Those guys are tough up there. Ready to blow. Okay, well, never mind. He got him covered. Great. He made a great investment in lava guava. And there's that final guy. It's going to take a minute. Yeah. But let's set down one more. Just speed up this process here. And there we go. I forget how OP Lava Guava is, honestly. And we got a pinata for our troubles. Let's see what seeds we're going to be getting out of this one. Alright, time to pop this sucker open. Just meander the whole pinata. Some moans, good. Primal Walnut. Perfume Shroom? A new shroom, huh? Looks like one we'll be encountering soon as well. Very interesting. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm not going to buy Cold Snapdragon anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, third level for this episode. So we're on day seven. I start from day five. I might go to ten, maybe. Don't let the zombies trample the flower. Oh, no. Where are the flowers? Right there. I... I forgot the reason this game... Uh, the challenges. Okay, Primal Walnuts. It's giving me those right away. That's a good start. Okay. Do that. I, If I remember, I don't think I can plant on them. Oh, I can plant on the uh, flowers. Will it count as them being trampled is the question. Okay, Primal Pea Shooter, go. Oh, but it's going to knock him back. Oh, no. That's tricky. So you have like a line of walnuts. Forward and backwards. Yeah, set that there. And here comes a bunch more. Okay. Forces of the dinosaurs are unable of trampling the flowers, so that's a good thing. Cherry bomb, I will save that. Uh, cherry bomb. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going to focus on that up there. That's not important. Uh, magnet room. What do you do? I know what you do, but I mean, what do you do here? Okay, blow him up, blow him up. I'm not wasting a lot more. Uh-oh. Problem pea shooter? Don't push him towards... Okay. Okay. The problem pea shooter pushes don't count to them trampling the flowers. That's good. Wait. My empty lane. Is this really necessary though? They didn't kill me. They just stepped on some flowers. Jeez. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the Zen Garden. Okay, cool. so I have Stalia, Snow Pea, Potato Mine. Let's see how I'm going to be growing in their place. Magnetroom, a Marigold, it's going to be money, Laser Bean, and Citron. Very nice. All right, let's try this again. No flower shall be stepped on this time. Again, these are all definitely a lot more difficult. Okay, so I'll try setting them directly on the flowers for this approach. We'll see what that does. If that helps our case or not. You know, the primal pea shooter knockback ones don't count for them trampling flowers. Okay, he avoided. He stepped away. So... If they get ahead of the Stegosaurus, then they don't get sent... Oh, but they can get knocked back into it. Yep, they can. Okay, good to know. Okay, so you're all protected. And of course, I have the Walnut First Aid Repair Whatever, so I can repair that one. Okay. I'm married cherry bombs this time. Okay, there's my first cherry bomb. Put you there. Let's use the plant food on this guy. And then what? Cherry bomb here. Quite good planning. Send those guys back. Stop kicking in my way, you dumb dino. 
Okay, magnet room. However, that's gonna help me, I guess. Uh, okay, I guess there's supposed to be bucket heads, but that's stone. I don't think you can... What witchcraft is this, magnet room? Right, I've got a pretty decent strategy this time, though. Okay, let him move up a bit. Explode. Boom, baby! Now I've got my primal pea shooters lined up. That's great. And I set them far enough that, that when they get flung, they don't do much. Now, let's start, um... Start repairing and adding more reinforcements by Don Free. And not as in, like, the actual mint reinforcement, either. Oh, that's troubling. Oh, there's a lot going on now. I don't like it. Just keep knocking him back. Keep knocking him back and we'll be fine. Okay, cherry bomb. Final wave. Get thin most of out with the cherry bomb. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, perfect. Two cherry bombs. Let's finish it here now. Okay. Nice. Grab that money. We have another pinata to bash open. Yay! Oonga boonga migo smash. More moans. Good. The primal potato mine. Looks like a little dino potato. I kind of like him. I wonder what his deal is. More primal walnut seeds. Okay. Potato and nut. Got it. Alright. I might do one or two more levels for my first time back. We'll see how this goes. Oh, new plant analyze? Oh, what? Oh, the perfume shroom. Okay, that was the next one. Shoot. The only primal plant that I don't think we have here. Charms dinosaurs and turns them against the zombies. Oh, that's good. I'm wondering how now, though. How do they help? Yeah, there's perfume shroom. Give me Sunflower and our Primal Boys. Let's see, what plant food do we have we can use? I guess Potato Mine could be a good help. And then what do we have as well? I have Imitator. I don't know where he is, but does he double my plant food? He does. I don't think I'll do that this time, though. Sorry for teasing you guys like that. Um, let's see. I don't think I'm smart enough to use garlic right now. Mm. So wait. Stalia is one we have. Free of charge. Slow charge, but that could help. Slow zombies. That could be a big help to me. Okay, so we still have the stego and the dinosaur, raptor, whatever. Also, nice fossil on the ground. And let's rent another plant. Cold snap dragon's back. Shadow shroom or explode vine. I guess this is going to be explosive match after all. Then an explosion would knock back when planted, and then a larger explosion when eaten. Yeah, I don't have many of the vines. Let's give explode vine a shot. Right, my apologies if I got everyone excited for an explosive time, but I got an ad that was really scummy. Like, it wouldn't let me backtrack or whatever. Just takes me straight to the app, and I don't want that. So, the rent plant reset, and I have this bad boy, Ultimato, Charges and Blasts. I don't think I've really shown him off too much, if at all. So, uh, let's do this. He's very expensive, though. Quite expensive. I might just swap out Stalia for Gold Bloom. Yeah, we already have Perfume Shroom. We don't want too much perfume. Let's do that. If I'm getting Ultimate, I might as well use Gold Bloom. Back up my Sun production. Because he's a very quirky one. Alrighty. Let's get to it. 
Okay, so. There's you. I can almost get perfume shroom, so let's do just that. Use! It kicks him away! Does the effect last forever? It does on the dinosaur! I like that. Okay, Primal Walnut go there. I'm gonna get another Gold Bloom soon. How many? We have two waves this time, so they are getting larger. They are lasting longer. Okay. Uh, potato mine. A bunch of random potatoes. Let's go. Bye, little imp. Yes, plant food. That's great. Set down gold bloom. And then I will use one on a sunflower. Okay, more of these guys. Uh, there's more here. So let's use perfume stream down there. Great. Now let's set down an old tomato. Yeah, he does cost more sun each time you use him. That's the thing. That kind of sucks. It could be worse. Okay, I need Perfume Shroom to come back fast. Fast, please. Oh, the huge one's already here. Okay, is that? Oh, Stegosaurus. It's on our side now, too. I think. I hope. Uh, potato. Potato. Activate. So I'll buy a few of these to show off Ultimato a bit more. So you can set them down, but I also believe you can uh, plant on them as well and upgrade them because it shows them red. If I grab this and yeah, he mutates. He goes from yellow to red, gets stronger. Let's get one down there, shouldn't I? Yeah, actually I do need an old tomato down there. So gold bloom. Set him down. That's the only downside about him, is that he costs so much. Because if you want to get, like, multiple, it keeps getting more and more expensive. Not to mention if you want to mutate him to red. He's a double-edged sword plant. But he's a neat one. And we got our perfume shroom. We're going to be best of friends from here on out, you and I. Charms dinosaurs against zombies. Old tomato seeds, huh? I'll give a bit of coin into that, why not? Give me ten. Here we go. Okay, yeah, for getting perfume shroom, we get a pinata. More moans. I'm gonna need that to upgrade soon. Primal walnut. Perfume shroom, yep, ready to be leveled up. Alright. Nice. We'll see if I can do one more. It looks like there's a challenge on this one. Remember how much I love silent letters. What? Flock of pterodactyls approaching. Coincidentally, pterodactyls. That's not how that works. Okay. Finds a zombie attack with given plants. Okay, do I get the perfume shroom? Oh, we're going right into it. Well, shoot. Okay, just... Oh, I get... Why'd you give me sun shrooms? Well, I can work with that at least, but... Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay. Okay, they're starting to grow. Good. Very good. I'll arm a potato mine for whichever zombie comes in next. Can I just set this potato mine here? Oh yeah, he's not gonna eat it. Uh, it does need to arm itself fast though, if it wants to work. Okay, uh, I'll be sure to do your thing. And yeah, knock that imp back. Good work. 
Okay, this one takes more priority. Let's set up a walnut there. This is gonna take a while. Maybe I should have saved this for the next episode. Well, at least he's being knocked back quite well. Okay, and now I'm about to get some mass payday from the Sun Shrooms. Great. Okay, Pterodactyl, what do you do? I'm just using the Perfume Shroom. I'm scared to see what it does. Oh! Some tells me it carries it and places it behind your lines or closer to you. Great. Well, fortunately, I've got one working for me instead of against me. That's a good sign, right? Okay, there we go. This one dead. Okay. Arm of Potato Mine here. Fume Shroom. That dinosaur is on my side. These perfume shrooms are so helpful now. Oh no. Okay, first wave. This could be a lot better. Uh, I can make you grow. Yes, that's great. Oh my god, what dinosaur is doing what? Uh, Stegosaurus. Yep, they pick up the zombies and make them eat backwards. No! I just grew that fellow! Oh my god, give me my perfume shroom immediately. I hate the pterodactyls. That is evil. Okay, I need to defend this from the most, so set him there. Okay, quick. Still have another pterodactyl problem, but it could be a lot worse. And at least they aren't coming for me. The problem is that they eat my plants in reverse, though. And that's not good, regardless. Okay, can I get some money to kill that guy? Because he's got plant food. Yeah, plant food. Thank you. No sun shroom. They can grow. That was all uh, a mess, I guess. Um, could have been worse though. Just keep knocking back, and I can arm the potato mine. Yeah, that fossil head is just gonna walk off on his own accord. <laughs> Okay, don't pay attention to that. Hail mine. And that's the final zombie dead. Who that dragged out. Okay. What do I get for subduing that torment? Money. Always a good payment for subduing torment like that. And that will do it for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. My sorry that dragged a bit at the end there. Probably should have made a better choice than that. I appreciate all of you for tuning in, and I cannot wait to continue playing this game and finishing it. No, as a lot of other modes, but I'm playing this game on the channel for the story mode here, which I believe we don't have very many worlds left. Jurassic March, and then two more. They're all at the highest difficulty. At the same time, we're close to the end. We were a while ago. Uh, if you're curious about any of my non-game related content I have, check out my second channel down in the description below, which might be having something very cool happening on it in the next few weeks or so, so do check it out. Share this video with your friends or any people that you know that are interested in Plants vs. Zombies or these types of games. Or just help a fellow out and spread this video out on the vast ocean of content creation. Help get my name out there or whatever. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold, my friends! And bye-bye!